Christ takes into account both of the good and evil works of a church. One makes them not overlook the other. He will not cocker any for their good or spare them in their evil. He sweetens his reproof here with a commendation like oil that makes way for a sharp nail. He reckons their labor, patience, sense of his dishonor, their discovery of seducing spirits, the circumstances of their zeal for his name and constancy and unweariedness in it. He sees our good grain and beholds our chaff. He takes notice of our decreases and of our decays. Christ takes more notice of the sins of his people than of the sins of others. Other sins are enmities. He expects no other from them. The Christian sins are unkind and more affect him. Christians' professions, mercies, covenants, assistances, privileges require a suitable walk. Judas, his betraying Christ, did not so much trouble him as Peter's denial of him. We do not read that he thought of Judas after he had betrayed him.